Good evening, this is Golbrandra Nielsen with North South Me Brewing. Uh, this is just an SCA project that I'm working on. Uh, maybe one day it will become more than that, but right now it's just a hobby. I'm hoping one day it might become more than that. Uh, I wanted to do a follow-up video to my lemon and garlic mead video that I made last year. The mead turned out great. Uh, for what it is. It's a cooking mead. I cannot drink it straight. <laughs> I don't think anybody could. But for cooking it's fantastic. I have done chicken and I've done pork in it and I've got a half bottle left and I'm going to do salmon with that probably for Thanksgiving or Christmas. One of the two. In the meantime Let's talk about what I've been up to. You'll notice behind me I've got bee supers. Hive boxes. Honeybees live in them. Well, not these. These are in storage. But I have two hives uh, out at my friend's house. Uh, Grimmit is fantastic and he's letting me store them there. Betcher Boots Apiary is now active and I'm planning on buying some property next year and I'm going to install my own bee yard and I'm going to plant fruits and a bunch of stuff for those bees. And I will have the fruit to make mead with. Because that's what this is all about, right? Everything comes down to the mead. For someone who doesn't drink, I focus on this a lot. Well, in April I put in my beehives. I made a lot of stupid mistakes, mistakes that I would not have made if I had other people helping me, but I am an idiot, and I like to run, run into things and try it on my own. I got five pounds. Well, that doesn't really bother me that much. I know people who don't get any their first year, so I got some, and that's better than nothing. I took my five pounds, I tried a little bit of comb honey, and I'm going to try to produce some next year. That's what's in that bag. That is my comb honey super with a uh, foundation. I wanted to keep it sealed away so nothing, should it get into this room, would be able to destroy the wax. Next year I should be able to get little half pound discs of honey. Well, discs of comb. goes in these because I'm prepared I am always optimistic and sometimes it comes and bites me in the ass this time it kind of did because I was hoping for more than five pounds of honey but five pounds of honey if you do two pound batches gets you a nice medium meat Two one pound batches. Two and a half pounds of honey in each batch. That would be 12.5 pounds of honey in a five gallon batch. So, seemed like a good place to start. And I have my two meads that are using my honey. These are just going to be a show mead. It's going to be honey water honey water yeast. The yeast I use is the Lavalin EC1118 uh, so it should give me a light bubbly flavor on the mead. One is going to be straight the other one I am going to oak. I don't know what kind of oak I'm going to use yet in my uh, boche. I'm using an American oak but I might do a French white oak or I might actually try to do the heaviest, heaviest oak I can for the sake of contrast. But this is my first, these are my first two batches of mead using honey out of my own bee yard. This is a great time to be alive, a great time for North Alchemy Brewer, Brewery, and hey, who knows? 
I'm learning. I am learning a lot. I'm learning about beekeeping. I'm learning about extracting honey. I bought my own extractors for my five pounds of honey. Next year, I'm probably going to get two more hives out at the very least. Uh, so four hives. I'm actually very happy with, with the way things are going. Which is very strange to hear myself say. I'm happy. <laughs> it's always great to get a new project started. It's always great to have something to look forward to. Down here, this is my boche. And I've still got the oak spirals in it. So that is going well. It's really ready to bottle. Um, I don't think I'm going to bottle just yet. I might, but I doubt it. Over there, well, I started. I got one. I grabbed one bottle of this because I had to share it with someone. I owed them a bottle. But that is maple. I took three pounds of honey, three pounds of maple, pure organic maple, and I made a dessert mead. It dissolves deep. It is almost as bad as a Demortis flower. Uh, the Demortis flower was 18 pounds of honey. 10 pounds of cherries, and a cup of lime juice. That was my first Mel Mel. It's possible that I go over the edge sometimes. My watermelon uh, raspberry is going alright. The raspberry is pulling back at the end, which is good, because that was a little too tart, at, tart on a finish. But... That is pretty much where things stand. Except, I've got one more thing to show you. And I'm going to be very careful because this is my bedroom, not just my storage facility. Oh, yeah. This is what the interior of my beehives look like before they start to draw out the comb. It's foundation and frames. But I mentioned the mortise flower. My very first Mel Mel. I got. Sixty percent of a bottle left. I'm probably going to pop that this year. Next time I go down and see uh, my best friend and the guys down in Austin. I'm looking forward to this year, though. This coming up year, I'm going to enter only my show mead with my honey it's gonna be great thank you all thank you good night